this is the process of city water going into treated water, going into the condensate tank, and into the deaerator. So basically it starts off at city water, it goes through the water softeners, which the softeners uh, reduce the hardness of the water by lowering all the ppm of dissolved solids such as like minerals in your water and all that other stuff that you don't want in there to send into your boilers because that would obviously cause corrosion and scaling um, and then that goes to the water meter which regulates the flow and you can choose to send that to anywhere over here straight from the treated water but you can also put it into the reverse osmosis, which further purifies the water. And you can also send that to any of these places. And then it goes to the boiler feed water header. And then it also goes to the condensate tank. And the condensate tank has attached to it a temperature transmitter, which uh, just indicates to the operator uh, how hot it is and everything. And it also has a level transmitter, which tells the operator how much water level it has, which is what you need. And then it also sends it to the condensate pump, and that condensate pump then pumps it up to the, this heat exchanger, or you can bypass it if it's not hot water, because it'll be sitting in there and it gets cold. So you can also bypass it and go straight into the deaerator. Um, and you can also have it go into the heat exchanger and then deaerator. Uh, obviously the deaerator, it, uh, it removes all the oxygen, like excess oxygen in the water and other gases in there that you don't want as well. And the, the treated water can also go through here and has the same process of through the heat exchanger, then the deaerator, or you can bypass it, depending on your situation. And that is the presentation. <laughs>